Lake at AVN 2015. Hi, how are you? I am good. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Now, what are you looking forward to this year? Wow, I'm looking forward to a lot. Um, I was named ambassador of their Sex Is program, which are all their seminars that are taking place during the day. Um, oh, okay. Be, so you're teaching then, right? Uh, I am sometimes. Uh, I'll be splitting my time with signing at the Wicked Booth and uh, doing a couple seminars. I think I'm also introing a few seminars and, of course, doing a whole lot of press. You're my first, so... Guys, you're my first, too, so it's early in the day. That's perfect. Now, is it is it throwing you off that they got weird hours? this year? I mean, the two o'clock thing is kind of weird, huh? No, because I think, I mean, I've been here since 11. My day started yeah. at 7.30 this morning. So, Mine too. I mean, <laughs> for, for the most part, my hours are the same just when I'm doing things or at different times. But yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm hosting a party tonight with Asa and Stormy at Chateau. And it. I'm sure that's going to start really, really late. And of I have course. to do it all over again in the morning. So Of course, of course. Now you like signing everybody coming in and you got a lot of fans coming in. And stuff. I do. It's my, it's probably my favorite part of the show. I would say being able to meet everybody in person that I talk to on Twitter all year. Um, you know, people bring me things that I've done in the past years, you know, and they're like, can you nice. sign all this stuff? And I like that because that's a real fan. Yeah, you have quite a catalog, don't you? I do. <laughs> I do. I'm lucky. Oh. So, so what kind of awards are you up for this year? Anything? I'm up for quite a bit, actually. Uh, I'm up for actress for Aftermath, um, some sex scenes as well. My my line of instructionals, Jessica Drake's Guide to Wicked Sex, is nominated. Uh, crossover star, a lot of stuff. Um, uh, another award ceremony, which I won't mention the name of because we're at Avian, and that would be rude. Uh, that would be rude. Though. But I, no, I no, uh, no. but I just won Best Actress a few weeks ago. And, yeah, uh, so we were there. <laughs> guide to uh, Guide to Wicked Sex Plus Size also won. Oh, so nice. I, I have high hopes for that one. I'm really excited about it. That was with Kelly Sabari, right? Yep. Kelly Shabari was uh, was my co-creator, I guess you would say. Um, when I started doing the line, it was always really important to me that it was an all-inclusive line. And I thought that the, the plus size genre was really misrepresented. And so I always wanted to do a plus size instructional. And um, I was waiting for the right person to do it with. Kelly is absolutely fantastic. She's awesome. Yeah. I really like yeah. her a lot. I like her work ethic. I like the way she came across on camera. Uh, we had a lot of meetings before we shot that movie. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I, I would say we went between eight and 12 months before. In, oh, wow. uh, as far as concept and the script, we went back and forth, different ideas and casting and just the information that we wanted it to contain because you really want there to be an educational impact from sure. this project, not just, hey, look, we did the first plus size instructional. You know, yeah. um, I think people have really enjoyed it. I get a lot of feedback from it, and it's the first volume in the whole series that went into second duplication so quickly. Nice. It sold out right away. So. Now, you, you've done quite a few of these instructional videos. Yeah. The, the, how many do you have? Um, in the line right now, I think there are 12 or 13. Um, the That's a bunch. The <laughs> newest one is my guide to a beginner's BDSM, which, oh, nice. of course, you know, we're riding that wave of 50 shades. Yep. And yep. Uh, we're, we're tying the release of, the, of this one with a theatrical release of Fifty Shades, which will be in the theaters on Valentine's Day. But this one just came out. So oh, it came nice. out just in time for the show. And yeah, I hear they're selling out already for the Fifty Shades of Grey. That's, oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they sure are. It's done a lot for a lot of different people in the industry. So. Now, now I, uh, we went to the press release for Aftermath. Uh, tell me about that movie. Wow. Um, Aftermath deals with some really serious subject matter. Um, I was cast in Aftermath after it was written. So I had already read the script and okay. very much was uh, scared a bit to be a part of it because it's such a heavy, meaningful, well-written script. Yes. Um, but Brad chose to cast me as Nina, and I played opposite of Tyler Nixon, who did a fantastic job. Um, and we shot half of it in LA, half of it in New York, and it's a, it'll really make you think. And yes, it's it, a good movie. It also has the, um, the older woman, younger man aspect of it, and Tyler is the youngest guy I've ever worked with. Like I prefer older. But he's men. a fun guy. He was fun, he's and he was fun so respectful. Um, 
my one of my first impressions of Tyler um, when we were in New York shooting outside pretty late, like we shot all over New York. I was feeling a little bit sick and he actually he walked away for a few minutes. Nobody knew where he was and he brought me back a hot tea. Oh, like, who does that? You know, like, Tyler does. <laughs> who, who, who takes care of their co-star like that? So, yeah, it was something that he did that really endeared me to him. Now, Aftermath is up for awards as well this year. Right? We sure are. Uh, I'm pretty sure some cinematography, screenplay, editing, uh, movie of the year. He's probably up for director as well. Um, so, yeah, I have really high hopes for Aftermath. A lot of stuff to do at the award show this year. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> and I'm presenting, which is always fun. Oh, so That's so. always a blast. I'll be up there. I'll be shooting you because I'll be shooting the award show. So Very fun. cool, uh, yeah. So that's one of the good things I get to do this year. So Nice. Congrats. <laughs> well, I have to, uh, double duty. I got to shoot the red carpet, then I got to go shoot the award show. So it's like, you know, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, it's not about me. It's about you. <laughs> oh, it's about you, too. <laughs> So if you weren't here right now, I wouldn't be here right now. Well, you could be sleeping, and I could be sleeping. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm not so happy with you. Yeah, yeah. I know. I w no, no. You would have been up anyway. You're, you're a busy girl. True. Very true. So, so what do you got planned for next year? What, do you, what, do you, what are your goals? Um, oh, I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of personal goals. Um, I want to get a little further into the sex ed uh, genre. I think you're already there, aren't you? No, I, I am, but I want to start investing more of my personal time. Not that I have a ton, sure. um, but, but I want to keep on with my education as well. Sure. Um, I want to stay current. I want to, I love attending other people's seminars and workshops. Mm -hmm. like, I love doing that. I'm like a sponge. I absorb it. Um, the line will be expanding this year. We're going to do some of the more advanced versions for some of the topics. Oh, cool. We'll go back and do an advanced fellatio. Um, I hope, I don't know if it'll be this year, but I'll be bringing out another guide to three ways. But instead of a boy, girl, girl, it'll be girl, boy, boy, three way. I didn't want to combine them. Um, oh, okay. We'll also be doing some more non-sex uh, instructionals. The first one I did this year was The Art of Striptease. And oh, nice. It's I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. So I would like Going to. Going back do, to your roots on that, huh? Of course. You know it. Uh, that's what made it so fun. Um, so I, I would like to revisit that one. I would like to do The Art of Seduction. Um, I would like to do Sensual Massage. So. Oh, that would be very good. Very good. Go ahead. Now, do, you have, do you have a favorite of all, out of all those? Uh, that's a really tough question. Um, I have a few favorites. I absolutely love anal, anal for men, and plus size, I would say. But female masturbation is really, really good, too. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite. I think I'd watch all those. So yeah, right. yeah <laughs> it, it, it pretty much depends on my mood. But I would say that um, female masturbation was a very empowering instructional for me to shoot. Uh, plus size was groundbreaking mm -hmm. um, because nobody had done it before and because I had a really specific vision for it and Kelly carried it out. I'm surprised nobody has done that. Me too. I was so I surprised. mean, that's a whole genre in and of itself. But a lot you know? of people, even understanding the genre, they, they tend to fetishize it. Yes, they do. So it's more of a... A, a big beautiful thing and they right. want to just there is no educational value to it but my instructional really talks about having body confidence and communicating with your partner and doing these different exercises with your partner and really sure. the positions that work best you know so it's more for your everyday kind of people that that maybe have a little bit of extra pounds yeah. and, and want to just get freaky absolutely yeah and i mean it's it's for everyone too in the in the movie i covered um, relationships where both people were of size or mm. maybe just one of the people sure. were of size. So That's true. I see. I've, I've, I've always been skinny, so I've never had a problem with, with weight or anything. But I would imagine there, there's different issues, you know, coming with uh, different body types yeah, and there stuff. Are many, you know. many different considerations. And we incorporated toys specifically made for people of size, oh, wow. uh, strap-on harnesses that really fit people, oh, cool. um, different types of furniture, uh, liberator, and different companies donated products for us to use and it was really great it was really oh, eye-opening that, really that is very cool yeah. that, that is very good yeah i like that what made, what made you decide just to start doing the instructional videos there was a huge need for it 
Yeah, you know, so. um, about four or five years ago, I was doing conventions and people were coming to me asking me for sex advice, you know, because I, I have sex. Like people right, realize, right. oh, look, you know, she has sex on camera. She must have a lot of sex. And so I started talking to them and I realized that there was this need. And I took a look at the instructionals that were out and I just wanted to sort of form a form a hybrid in between something that's very clinical and very technical and, you know, the educational side of it. But I wanted to mix it with a lot of personality, you know, and, cool. and, and inspire people too. And I think that that's the goal of, of an instructional, not just to be super factual and, you know, A plus B equals C, but now that you've given people the information, get them turned on. You know? Sure. Now, are you going to incorporate any of your wicked, uh, I know they have the new toy line. Are they going to incorporate any of that into this? Um, well, actually, Possibly. actually, we have uh, the Wicked Sensual Care Collection, which are all of our lubes. And um, yes, I use our Wicked Sensual Care Collection in all of my movies. Sometimes it's you won't see it. It's like really sure. we're like we're we're like a ninja. We're we're very we're very <laughs> sneak it stealth. in. Yeah, we sneak it in. But but like when I shot anal, when I shot BDSM, some of our lubes are featured. Um, but as far as toys, what what we have done lately, or what what we're just yeah. Yeah, you got to show me what you what you got hiding over here. Um, I'm having action figures. All of the wicked girls are so nice. I'll have them. A Stormy Daniels will have them. Asa Akira will have them. And this is a fan, so fans oh, will will wow. be able to have action figures with us. And the scanning process for these was phenomenal. They come in nice. all different sizes, and we partnered with 3D Erotic Art to make these. And oh, nice! You can have me, you can have me alone, <laughs> in in various in various Very different nice. in various different sizes. Or you oh. know, if you want to pose with me, you can do that as well. And they come in all different outfits. And if oh, you look neat. if you look really closely, I you can see my wicked necklace. You can, oh yeah! You can see my tattoos. Oh my god, that's cool. They are. They're really that exciting. Cool. And um, these this is just the first run, so we're still right, kind right. of making little changes. I think my nose is a little too pointy here. See, I don't <laughs> I don't I don't think they're. Exactly Everybody critiques their own body that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, I don't yeah. think it's exactly the same. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah. work on that a little bit more, yeah. and um, you know, make them make them quite perfect cool. replicas of all the Wicked Girls. Cool. So you can have Wicked Girl action figures. Well, I think it's time to wrap up because they're telling me to wrap up. So. Are they? <laughs> yeah. They, I, get the, I get the fingers, you know? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to promote before I let you go here? Or? Well, check out GuideToWickedSex.com and you can find all of my movies, the instructionals included, on Wicked.com. Uh, you should be following me on Twitter at the Jessica Drake. I'm on Instagram, Jessica Drake. And, um, yeah, and that's that's about it. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you got to follow her. Some of the pictures are kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to be posting pictures off the show. You never know. I, I get the weirdest food pictures. Oh, this is where I'm at. And I see this food, and I'm like, hmm, that looks good. We yeah. get, like, random food pictures, dog pictures, home pictures, and then, like, half-naked shots of me. That makes it worthwhile right it's there, mix. guys. It's a mix of everything. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thanks for being my first today. Mwah. Bye, y'all.